Hey everybody, we're continuing on with the Asus All-in-One again. And of course, this All-in-One here is one of the long-term back burner kind of things. Had it for quite a while now. It's from a friend of mine, refurbishing this machine so I can give it to their friend. So I got one of those 10 put on it, and I've noticed it is still really freaking slow very slow like it took an upwards of five to six minutes from a cold boot to the desktop to finish installing updates which there weren't that many updates for install um, you can see a hard drive is just erasing away I'd be willing to bet this thing has got a um, failing hard drive probably some bad sectors on the disk well, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here um, you remember the DVD drive that was making weird noises <laughs> making really odd sounds well, we're going to attempt to see if just cleaning the laser lens will do any good for this thing. There we go. Ah, it is recognizing it as an audio CD. So what we will do. is we'll launch one as media player and attempt cleaning the laser lens. Ah, just do recommended whatever. I think we're going to be doing a clean install here anyway. If this hard drive is failing. See if the audio works on this guy. Yes it does. laser lens cleaning process is now concluded. The laser lens cleaning process... Let's run back and forth across those um, bristles a few times. Now we'll go ahead and take it out. And let's just pop in some random DVD that I have. Like this, um, I guess it's Windows 8.1 ISO. <sighs> Got all the dirt off of it for one thing. And let's see if it can read this DVD fine without any problems. I must say, it does seem to sound. Uh, It is definitely working a lot better than it was in the last video, I have to say that. It's probably just needed a good laser lens cleaning. Sometimes that's just the that's, sometimes that's all that's really needed for them is just a good cleaning of the laser lens. And for example, if I do open Oh yeah, it's just seeing everything in here. You now we wouldn't want to install Windows 8.1 on this. <laughs> no. Although um touch screen machines actually that's kind of the best machine you can install Windows 8 on. <laughs> and of course Windows 10 is far superior to Windows 8.1 I think. So we will rip that DVD out of there. We are not going to install that. So now let's go and see what's going on with the hard drive. For example here I'll go ahead and navigate to it. Crystal Disk Info. It's like once the machine gets up and going, it's okay, but it just takes a while to get going. And it's actually, the hard disk is actually testing out as good. So why the world is it so slow? We got a function. Let's see if we can change the acoustic um, management on this drive. Sometimes that slows them down when 
Ah, she's unlocked. And see, it's set all the way to silent. If you look, I know there's a lot of ripple on the screen. Perhaps the refresh rate could be set better. And of course, we'll go to the new settings. Monitor. Yeah, for starters, why is it on 59 hertz? Oh, that's a lot better. Jeez Louise. Alright, well, okay, <laughs> it's come back, but yeah, okay, we're at 60 hertz now at least. Um, as you can see, it's set all the way down to silent. Set that all the way up to performance. Close this out, and let's see if it. Let's refresh. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to set it to disable. Performance, let's see, off. So, like, like I mentioned, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. Some drives actually have it locked out where you can't access it and change it. It'll just be grayed out. See, it keeps going back to silent. Yeah, see, it keeps going back to silent every time. All right, let's restart it and see what it does. So the hard drive is actually okay. Shutdown was pretty fast. Hard drive activity LEDs in the far right bottom corner of the screen. And this, by the way, is not fast start because we're doing a restart. Machine has at least four gigabytes of RAM, and of course the i3. Hard drive does does seem to be the biggest bottleneck here. Again, this is a clean install. It is going faster than it was last time, at least a little bit. Yeah, that last startup that was that was horrible. Very, very slow. Well, there is a little something else I can try. Just out of curiosity. I can see what kind of performance we're getting out of the drive. Okay, so this is a... The hard drive is actually... Doing not not too bad here for sequential read and write. Let's see what our random access read speed is. Not gonna click on anything that's gonna let this go. Don't want to impact the um, 
readings at all here. It's funny, an SSD would just rip right through this. <laughs> I think this hard drive is a Seagate 7200.12, one terabyte. And the sequential read and write does about what you would expect out of this hard drive. And I'd say that's probably fair enough for its age. I didn't remember, I didn't actually get the, I forgot to look at the power on hours in the video, but I'm sure you may have seen it already if you were paying attention you would see the power on count and the power on hours. Jeez. Okay, that is the um, benchmark on this hard drive. Yeah, no, not real certain why it's, this machine's just act like it's running slow. Perhaps with a little bit of time, things will iron out. Um, of course, Windows 10 is notorious for doing things in the background. And look how this look how this window fades out when you drag it. Shouldn't this? I think I personally think this should be a part of um, the Windows 10 um, graphics, or just you know, ever since Windows 7 was out, I, th I think. I think this should have been part of the the graphics when you drag a window around. So anyways, um, I can go ahead and pull up quick, um, not quick bench, but um, Crystal Disk Info again. Because I'm just curious what the power on count hours are for it. Because I didn't see it. I didn't. <laughs> this thing's been cycling on, on an awful whole lot. Jeez. 3,085 power on counts. 27,841 power on hours. So it's definitely got its fair share of use. That's for, that's for sure. And it's not failing anywhere in here as far as bad sectors or anything like that. There's no bad sectors on it. Usually, um, where they'll fail will be C6 or C5. One of those two, usually they'll, you'll start to see it turn yellow for caution or red for bad. Anyways, I guess I'll just go ahead and finish up this machine and, I mean, provide the hard drive is okay. I mean, the hard drive health is fine so we'll just go with it and see where we get and it looks like Windows 10 did finally install the um, touchscreen drivers as you see the touchscreen is now working and if we go to this is the, the new system properties And in touch, yep. Touch support with two touch points. So we do have a working touch screen now. I'd say this is a pretty nice machine for its time, having all this functionality. If it's just a little faster, that'd be great. Anyways, this might be the final video on the ASUS All in One. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeComp MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.